Hey guys, as you can see, we got Big Red running again, and I'm drinking lots of Big Red now because of this car. She's good, got her pulled out of the woods, got her tuned up, she's a fine automobile. Oh, purrs like a kitten. Let's see what she can do. Hey guys, welcome to Demolition Ranch. This is my new minivan, Big Red. Got Big Red out of the woods. That was a feat. But here she is in all her glory. And then I was gonna film an epic intro of me like really drifting her and ragging on her and doing like really fun stuff. Uh, didn't turn out. No one will ever be able to take the place of Goldie, especially not Big Red, because Big Red is the worst. Big Red already doesn't run well. Something was smoking under the dash. When I floor it, it sprays the windshield washer. Not sure about that. Here's to Goldie. Ah! I hate Big Red. You know who's the worst? Meter maids. Cause they come and put stuff on your car and write your tickets and everything when you park. And sometimes you just wanna park somewhere and it's a free country, I should be able to park wherever I want. But not so with them. So we got a boot today. Cause I wanna figure out if a meter maid ever puts a boot on my car, I get it off with guns. I actually don't know if they're called meter maids and that's probably not a nice term. I think people just call them that because they're mad at them. So what are they called? Let me know in the comments below. Never done one of these before, but it looks like you open it up like that. And then you just tighten it down, I think. So we're gonna put this thing on. Oh, it's even got a spike in it. Is that for popping tires? That's crazy. So there's this wrench here. We tighten this one and tighten this one. So there's a joint here that tightens up and a joint here that tightens up. Uh, and you just stick the wrench in there like so, and you can loosen it or tighten it. So I got this thing all the way tight, as I would assume they would leave them. And then they have these little covers that lock in place so that someone can't just get a wrench and loosen it up. So now it's locked on there. So I can't drive. So what I wanna see is can I shoot this thing off and also not pop my tire because if you shoot it off but also blow your tire you're kind of in trouble i think if i was just looking at this thing i would say if you can bust that hinge or this hinge it looks like it would pull away so i think i need to focus there or there this is all metal 100 percent metal fairly thick we're going to start small and work our way up the only thing i don't want to do is hit a bullet here and ricochet straight into my tire that's game over new plan i'm going to try to break this bolt I'm gonna try to shoot straight through this. If I can break this bolt, I can pull this bowl off. Right now it is, that is on there, but I can pull that bowl off and then maybe get the whole thing to squeeze out that way. That's my theory. 22 long rifle. I'm gonna try my hardest to smack it right in the center there. Did nothing. Oh, it did it. It did, didn't. All right, I missed a little bit. We'll try another shot. I'll aim a little bit higher this time. Hi. All right, I'll just stand straight in the middle of this then. Second shot, third shot hit right here. One, one more time, guys, one more time. One more for good measure. That actually did do a lot of damage, though. Okay, look, I was trying to hit this, still hit over here. Look at this. I mean, I'm not saying that it was all the gun's fault, but that sight's about to fall off. Twitchy long rifle did not go through. I think this 9mm could. I think there's a decent chance it could make it through that little piece. So this one went right here, skimmed down, and then went off the wheel. It hit the bowl here, came down, hit the wheel, and somehow did not pop our tire. Maybe this is not the best place to shoot. I'm kind of starting to second guess because it just directed that nine millimeter straight at our tire. Uh, whereas if I'm shooting over here, Man, the problem over here is like I have to get an angle like this instead of a straight on angle. Let me just crack a shot over here just to see what happens. I really have a feeling we may end up popping this tire today. Before we go any further, I wanna say thanks to our sponsor, DraftKings, and it came at a great time because Big Red doesn't make it very far on Demolition Ranch. Like it all. DraftKings is a leading daily fantasy sports brand with a mission to make sports better and make better sports fans by bringing fans closer to the game. There are literally millions in prizes up for grabs every week and it is free to enter for new users. You draft nine players, a quarterback, two running backs, three wide receivers, one tight end, one flex player, and a defense special teams. I got Cam Newton at quarterback, Julio Jones, and Mike Evans as wide receivers. Mike Evans is Texas A&M alumni. 
just like your boy. Gigamags. Look at that beauty. Still shining. And each player listed has an assigned salary, and to have a valid lineup, you must not exceed the salary cap of $50,000. And then you rack up fantasy points with touchdowns, yards, field goals, and so much more. Download DraftKings and enter football daily fantasy contests all season long with millions in prizes. And full rules and scoring can be found at DraftKings.com slash fantasy dash football. New users use code DEMORANCH at sign up and get your free shot at millions of dollars in prizes with your first deposit. All of this is linked in the description below. Thanks to DraftKings for sponsoring this episode of Demolition Ranch. Now, what kind of vehicle should we buy with our sponsor money man I'm gonna try one more at this thing I got a little bit more of an angle now ah, still a decent chance I'll pop that tire so it went straight through I think if I would have aimed obviously if I'd aimed a little more left maybe what did it do over here though I can't tell but a nine millimeter went straight through that metal that's a good sign Man, if I can break that bolt hit that bolt a bit and deflect it off we need something more powerful. This is a new gun. This is made by Black Aces Tactical and it is the Pro Series X. It's actually a pretty inexpensive little package and it comes with a long barrel if you wanna go like bird hunting with it. Um, I think it also comes with like a tactical stock too. Pretty sweet, I have not shot it yet. We're gonna be shooting this. This is a little incendiary slug um, at fairly close range. I think this 12 gauge will bust it open. Uh, I think, let's find out. It went high. Yeah, there's no way that that didn't go straight into our brake rotor, right? That's the first time I'd shot it. I probably should have shot it and see if it was shooting high, because I felt like I was right on it. We definitely hit two inches high there. Oh, <laughs> uh, yeah. I was aiming right here, and it went just right there. Let me try again. I'll aim at the bottom this time. 12 gauge Sabo. Let's see if I bring it down a little bit, if I can hit that bar. Jeez. Where did that go? That went high too. Let me bring it down way far. See if I can hit that bar. Dang it. We're not driving home today, boys. Wow, it popped it way over there. Dude, apparently I can't aim at all today. It's fine, it's fine. Man, look at the hubcaps getting banged up. Ugh, still on there. Okay, here's the deal. I can't aim at all today. I don't know what's going on, if it's the guns or me, but two different guns I haven't been able to hit very well with, so. I'm gonna say it's probably me today. And we already popped the tire. We just need to shoot more at it. This is chambered in 45 ACP. Big heavy hitting bullet. And I got a big mag full. Let me see if I can actually shoot this gun accurately. We have plenty of ammo. So we can hit that thing all over it. Yeah, we probably would have popped the tire on that one too. I just kind of shot all over the place. I was just gonna try to hit it somewhere. Still, oh, that one, that was a good hit. That was right on there. One of them took the top off this. Ooh, it's so close to coming off. So it's about to rip off. And then I tried to hit this bolt a little bit. It looks like, yeah, there's a piece of bullet right there. So this metal was stopping it. Man, so close. That one went straight through. Oh, did we get it? Did we get it? I just broke that bolt right there. Okay, we're in guys, I think. <laughs> no, oh, got it. Okay, that came off. So even with that piece off, it does still have a stop here that is holding it. And I think we could get it off right now if we really tried. Um, but uh, if this tire was full, it probably would still be locked. I think this thing's supposed to lock into that tire right now. Ours is kind of jacked up because we popped the tire already but I don't think we're actually free yet. We still need to shoot it off. We need more power, like a AK-47 kind of power to rip through that metal. Is that the other tire? I think that's the radiator. Yeah, we popped the tire and a radiator. Big red ain't gonna last very long. Oh, we're so close. We busted this. Come on, girl. Come on. Uh, dang it. We did bust open both of these things, though. There's one of the tumblers right there. Looks like it took a round. Uh, here's a 45 ACP I found on the ground. Here's a jacket of something. There's another big piece of lead. I don't know what that is. It's all squished. There's another piece. There's another piece. There's pieces of bullets everywhere. Oh, here's that big bolt fell out. It's so close. 
like so close. It's hooked around the back. But you know what? Since I busted those open, I always carry a spare wrench around. So that's what I do in these situations when I get a boot and I shoot the front of it off and then I just get my wrench in here and I loosen it up and voila! Still cheaper than paying the ticket. Let's see what she got. It's a Ford. It's a Ford Aerostar XL. Not the best car you've ever seen. Oh yeah, like a kitten. We did bust the radiator a bit. She needs some milk. Yeah, that looks like a mixture of antifreeze and transmission fluid or brake fluid. I don't know, but uh, transmission was not going into gear at the end. Yeah, Big Red's dead. Sorry to tell you guys. Uh, she's a Ford Aerostar XL, LX, something like that. I just don't make them like they used to. I didn't really think this is the car that I showed up in. Didn't think that one through, so. I guess I'm gonna walk home. This car didn't even make it one episode. It's a piece of junk. Goldie lasted like 10, oh I forgot. Goldie lasted like 10 episodes. This thing can't even make it one. All right guys, let me know what car you think we should replace Big Red with. Probably need to spend more than $400 on the next one because Big Red's a piece of junk. Thanks for watching Demolition Ranch. I love you. And I'll see you next time. Contact. That's a great idea. What about the quad car? Uh, don't move, don't move. Bobby? <laughs>